Good morning, Facebook. Good morning, YouTube. It's another Monday morning prayer, and I got a quick word for you today. But before I go any further, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for um, viewing and uh, sharing and liking the Michael and Brittany series. I put a lot of work into it, me and my cousin and um, my co-workers that actually participated. And I'm so appreciative for them for uh, what they contributed. Um, but I got a quick word for you today. Uh, be still and wait on the Lord. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I tell you, when I was in my dark time, I wanted things to be on Benil's timing. I wanted things to uh, operate when I wanted them to uh, operate. Uh, whatever I wanted at the time, I wanted God to go ahead and take care of the issue. Go. I don't want it to experience any pain. I don't want to experience any frustration. I need you to come take care of this now. And... Um, I could totally be honest with you and say that the Lord is not going to come just because you said come. What do you mean by that? What I'm saying is sometimes in life, God is going to allow you to go through certain things in order for you, for your spiritual muscles to be able to grow. I had to learn that he's not going to bring me out just because I asked him to bring me out. I believe he will bring me out on his timing, but I'm not, I don't believe that he's just going to bring me out just because I said bring me out. What he will do is allow you to, uh, he will give you peace in the storm. He will allow you to have peace through your situation. And then once you experience peace, that's a passive understanding. You will see God's love is real for you. So when he does bring you out of the situation, then you just like, you know what? That was nothing but God. Then you come out with more of confidence. Then or you come out with more confidence, not more of a confidence, but more confidence than you you did before, you had before. Because you understand that God brought you out. But God will give you peace in the storm. And sometimes he allows things to turn around when we ask him to. But my personal experience, he has given me peace before he brought me out of a situation. That just for me, but what I want to uh, tell you is that when you be when you're still and you're waiting on God, that doesn't mean that you just have to, you know, you get comfortable. No, what you have to do is you have to continue to invest in yourself. You have to continue to speak life over things. You have to continue to fast, and Lord knows you have to continue to tithe because that's what I did. I had to continue to tithe even when I didn't have it, and I wasn't a big tither. I, even though I was in ministry, I didn't give my 10%. But when I went through my dark time, I started realizing how important tithing is. Now, even though he has brought me out, I still tithe because I realize how important it is. And I have to give my 10% to God. Uh, <clears throat> the Bible speaks about where a man's treasure is, where his heart will be also. So uh, I want to make sure the Lord understands that my heart is with him because this is where my treasure lies. All these things contribute in waiting on God because it's not Benil's timing, it's God's timing. So Lord, I'm going to continue to be proactive. I'm going to continue to be productive. I'm going to continue to pray and wait on you to take care of this situation that I'm facing, that I'm praying about because I know you will and it will be on your time. And I just have to make sure I do my part. You cannot be God, but you can do your part and allow God to take care of the rest. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. I hope you guys have a blessed and wonderful day. Know that you're beautiful. Know that you're uh, intelligent. Oh my God. Handsome, talented, gifted. I just want to let you know that you can be all you can be, uh, you want to be, excuse me, in the Lord. And you can do all things. You already know my favorite scripture. And um, I love you guys. And I, I pray that you guys were blessed by the Michael and Brittany series. I pray that you guys were blessed by this prayer and have a blessed week. And I want to share some of the things I've been reading in my books uh, this Wednesday for Bible study. I think that that's important for you to uh, understand because I'm always talking about reading, but you never discuss what you're reading. 
Uh, so I think that's uh, that's what we need to talk about uh, this week, and uh, just just have just a just a just a conversation, a conversation. But anyway, Father God, in the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord, for that powerful word. Thank you, Lord, for keeping us. Thank you, Lord, for blessing us and waking us up for with another day. Thank you, Lord, for our health and strength, our right mind. Father God, you're awesome. You're mighty. We just thank you, Lord, for. Uh, Allow us to be in your presence on today, Father God. We ask, Lord, that we keep our co-workers, keep our friends, keep our family, Father God. The people that are behind bars, Father God. We ask for favor on their situations, Father God. As long as their motives are pure, Father God. And we're thankful, we're grateful, Lord. We love you, Father God. And we're thankful. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we can't thank you enough. Even if we had 10,000 tongues, Lord, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. For everything that you contributed in our life, Lord, and what you've done. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray. Amen. Y'all be blessed. I love y'all. Y'all be easy.